Another fascinating thing about the consciousness is that when the consciousness has descended into the physical world and assumed that the physical body is I, what happens is it gets trapped in the bottom three chakras. What does that mean? Well, your root chakra is where your, all your ancestral conditioning is. So all the patterns that we've inherited from the ancestors from the past. This whole civilization has been built out of the past. And then your sacral chakra, your survival center is how to navigate through that um, reality that you perceive as, 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 as your life. Um, how to navigate through that, how to survive in it, how to thrive in it. And then the solar plexus, the, the sense of self, the, um, the identity that's born out of that struggle to survive in this thing that's emerged from the past. And so the ego's world is predominantly the bottom three chakras, solar plexus, sacral and root. So no matter how you try to improve that, no matter how, whatever you do um, in that world, trapped in that world, you're not going to improve it. You might change things, and, it, and because you've changed them, it might feel better for a while, you know. It's like living in a... If you live in a, in a shithole of a house, in a shithole of a neighbourhood, and you change the furniture around in the room you know, it's going to feel better maybe for a few days or a few hours, but it's not going to get you out of that shithole house and that shithole neighborhood. And that's the ego's world. So you have to understand these things because most people, you know, everyone's preoccupied with, you know, personal empowerment, trying to empower themselves, but really they're just trying to empower the ego and get what the ego wants. Um, they're trying to heal themselves, but really they're trying to heal the ego and the ego can't be healed. It can just get more and more and more and more ideas uh, and, and, and uh, y you know, more emotions, a different emotional process, a different mental process, but it's not going to heal anything because the ego is the sickness. The sickness of the soul is the dis-ease of your, you know, the body and body conscious eye. That's, there's no two ways around it. You, you can't, you can't deny that fact. It's just simple truth of life. Um, so the secret is, is can you move out of those bottom three chakras as a foundation of your experience? Can you move out of those bottom three chakras as a fundamental foundational experience of yourself into higher senses of consciousness? So how do you do that? Well, you have to bring the light within you down. So that means you have to focus on it within and above you. You have to bring it down into you. And you have to be devoted to that. You have to devote yourself to an, a communion with your higher consciousness, your higher self, your higher senses of consciousness through introspection, through concentration, through breath, through an alchemy of reverence, respect, humility, love and gratitude towards this divinity within and above yourself and bring it into yourself. The more you focus on it, the more it's going to fill you, the less you focus on it, the less you're going to have of it in you. The ego lives in fear, which is survival fear, uh, ignorance, which means it ignores divinity, and arrogance, arrogant pride. It's, it, it, it thinks it's great. It's proud of its achievements. Look at my big muscles. Look at my big car. Look at all my money. Look at my beautiful house. Look at my 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 kingdom, I am the king or the queen of whatever I survey. Look at my the books I've written. Look at all the things I have. Look at what I've done. Even if it's even if it hasn't done anything, you know? 
even if it hasn't done anything, it's proud of itself. The ego, it's just a, it's just a mad little thing, and there's no way you can heal that madness. It's completely not possible. So all of this running around and fussing around in the world to, you know, to accomplish something, um, you know, so many people are having burnout. So many people are just completely overloaded and overwhelmed and confused by life. And this is the reason, you know, this whole question of awakening, you know, getting woke. What are you getting woke to? What are you awakening to? That you're getting fucked over by politicians that are in bed with, with multinationalists that are hooked up to ancient bloodline elite uh, individuals that are, that are running this world. Well, what's new? There's nothing new there. That's not awakening. You, what, the evil is a fact of life? That's not new. This is not news. Just look at history. It's full of it. Look at mythology. It's full of it. It's, it's there in everything. It's in all the religious scriptures. The gods fighting with, the, with, with each other or with, with, with demons, forces of goodness, forces of evil. This, none of this is new. What you need to awaken to is the infinite peace, the infinite light, the eternal peace and the infinite light within you as you. That's what you need to awaken to. Your sense of self, our sense of self in this physical world is so, so fallen. It's so far away from who we truly are that there's no way you can, you know, awaken the ego to realize something of great value that's going to provide the solutions to the problems of this world. Forget about that bullshit. No way. You have to awaken to who you truly are. And that means you have to, you know, move out of the ego's realm for a moment. And that's what meditation is. And we all have a unique journey within ourselves. It's not just like, oh, I meditate and that's fixed all my my problems now. I'm 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 good. No, it's not like that at all. It's yes, meditation is a wonderful thing and fundamentally essential to what I'm talking about here. But then there's also this navigation, there's also this journey, aka the hero's journey, that needs to take place within yourself. You need to take the time to navigate through the landscape of yourself. That means close your eyes and with great sensitivity move um, through your inner darkness to zones of your psyche that need your conscious awareness focusing on them in order to transmute the energy that's in there. And this is a very deep subject and this is what the Gene Keys um, readings helps you do. The Gene Keys are a map. They help you navigate within yourself into a place, into a way of being that gives you great strength. Thought for the day. Hope you're having a great day.